Hey everyone, in this video I just want to have a bit of a chat about a, an alarming trend that I'm starting to see with a lot of people going into the safety industry or those that are wor already working in it. I get really concerned when I see a bit of a, a safety police mentality that's coming out with, with people when they're commenting on social media and things like that. Um, I've been in health and safety and, and, and L&D as well for, for many years now uh, and certainly for me, I see my role uh, even in a, a safety management role as, as an educator, not a, not a police officer, not an enforcer. Uh, I see my role as, as helping people do, do their jobs and be able to undertake them safely and about understanding some of the hazards associated with what they're doing. I said in a video earlier last week, you know, I, I'm not a subject matter expert in everything. You know, for example, I've driven a forklift, I have a forklift license, um, but I haven't driven a forklift for, for 20 odd years. Uh, does that make me an expert in it? No, it doesn't. What it does mean though, is I have a little bit of a basic understanding of some of the issues, but what it means is I can sit there with a subject matter expert, someone who does it all day, every day, um, and work with them to understand some of the things that they're doing and, and perhaps some of the, the hazards and risks associated with that. Um, I think, you know, the old adage applies here, you know, you're going to attract more, uh, more bees with honey. Uh, you need to have this approach where you're not the enforcer. It's not your job to be an enforcer. In fact, under legislation, uh, you know, a safety manager um, pretty much has no authority. Um, certainly if you compare it to health and safety rep, for example. Um, and you're not an inspector, you know, even as investigators ourselves, you know, we've got no statutory or legislative authority. Um, so we can't sit here as, as investigators and, and enforce things. Uh, we can educate people about what's happened and, and what they need to do to, to prevent it recurring. But that's the extent of it. It's an education piece. Um, I'd really welcome your thoughts. I'm curious on uh, whether people have seen the same thing. Uh, are we seeing a, a rise in so-called safety police versus, uh, you know, educators and, and enablers and so on? Um, you know, what can we do to change that? Uh, you know, I think it's a, it's certainly for me, it's an alarming thing to, to watch it unfold. Let me know your thoughts. Drop a comment below.